Hello everyone, in this video we will show you how to add and use the dating feature in your app. Log in your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Under the edit, test and go live section, click on edit. In your edit app section, go to the menu on the top left and click on add future. In this slide out menu, click on view all to see the list of futures. Search for the dating feature and click on add future to add it to your app. You will now see the dating future listed in my future section. When you hover over the future, you will see multiple options like the hide future, edit and customize future, and delete future. For more options, click on the keybot menu on the right and explore the options to move the future up, down, top, bottom, or to another folder. Let's click on the edit and customize future option to see how we can edit the future further. Here in the edit future section, you will see all the options you can explore and start using the future in your app. You can change the page name here. Click on the change icon section and this window will open up. Click on select icon where you will see multiple options for icons. You can further choose to see any solid and outline options. In the select image section, you will see loads of options for images that can be used as icons for your dating future. You can also upload a custom icon for Apple, Android, and website to make your app icon stand out. You have two options here, dating powered by Twilio and dating powered by Firebase. Let us first click on the dating powered by Twilio option and move to the content section underneath. Apple guidelines on dating apps are stringent. Hence, the changes of rejection of your, of your iOS dating app are more than Android apps. You can review the guidelines or get in touch with the support team. Another point to consider is that the Twilio option works only with the native apps and you will have to rebuild your hybrid app and migrate to the native version of your app. In the dating section, you can fill in the details of the Twilio option like Twilio account SID, API key, secret key, authorization token, service SID, Android push credential SID, and iOS push credential SID. You can delete the Twilio form by clicking the bin icon and confirming the deletion. To add the dating power by Firebase feature, you first need to delete the Twilio option. After de deleting the Twilio option, add the dating power by Firebase option by clicking here. In the dating section, you can add the dating link and if you have trouble finding it, you can refer to the tutorial here. You can delete the future by clicking on the bin icon and confirming the deletion. Further, choose whether you want the app to be free or an in in-app purchase for app subscription. Under the in-app purchase section, you can add the credentials of your Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Further, add details like weekly, monthly, and yearly subscription or one-time payment. You can choose currency from the drop-down menu here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can also refer to the tutorial here for more information. You can also choose to disable the in-app feature for, for women users with this toggle button. You can further add the terms of the in-app subscription under the recurrent and one-time purchase sections. Remember that this feature does not work on the website. Let's move to the design section. In the page style and color scheme section, you can click here to see the multiple background image options provided by our platform or choose a solid color or upload a custom image to be used as the app background. You can choose the cross or hard icons here. Scroll down and you will see the page elements, color, font size, and indent settings. You can also choose to hide or show the border with the toggle button. Further, you can choose to show or hide the back navigation button on the header. Next, go to the in-app settings. Here you can enable or disable in-app for your app with the simple toggle action. Here you can add the Android and iOS payment credentials. You can also find relevant tutorials for the process by clicking here. Scroll down and add your Android payment receipt credentials. You can choose to use these credentials as global credentials. All the edits and changes will be saved automatically, but you can also save them manually. As soon as you're, you click publish, you will be able to see all the changes immediately.